Good evening, Paul. Thank you for joining us on Yolts TV. What an interesting evening. <laughs> well, for where should we start? Yeah, well, first and foremost, it's three points, Dan. We, we, we were desperate after the disappointment from Saturday um, to, to make sure that we reacted well and, and came to a very difficult place against a good side and get three points, and we've done that. Um, and it's very important that that takes, uh, takes centre stage. In the first half, we saw two goals from the outs. Uh, it's finished 3-1 here, by the way. Uh, and Luke Yates was at the centre of it. How, just how impressed have you been with Luke? He's been brilliant, hasn't he? There's no, there's no dressing it up. There's no two ways about it. The kid's, he's a class act. He's a great kid, and when he's got confidence, and, um, and we're giving him the instructions that he needs to go out, and we're giving him the freedom to play, he's causing all sorts of problems. That said, I think his goal ratio needs to improve, though. You know, the chances he's, ta he's having, he, he could score a lot more than what he's actually scoring. That's not just him, though. Again, it's been another first half where we've totally dominated created chance upon chance upon chance and although we scored two we could have scored six or seven without saying disrespectful in that first half and then we'd give a sloppy goal away to, to let us side back into it which again it's a bit of our Achilles heel I keep talking about it but we miss rakes of chances and then uh, gift a goal to, to give someone a chance very similar to, to Saturday but credit to the boys we, we came in at half time uh, and it was important that we continued in that in that vein and, and we did for the most part the second half and I thought it was thoroughly deserved. We saw the referee go down with, uh, in 15 minutes of the second half and we've played, I think, 33 minutes injury time now. Um, what an unusual situation. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very rare. I think I've had it once before. Um, but unfortunately, the, 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 the Barton didn't have anyone uh, that wanted to run the line. Um, we did. We had our president, who, who was brilliant, Colin, who's a, a, future, a qualified referee. He was happy to run the line for us, but um, Barton didn't want him to, so we had to continue the game with just two officials and fair play to them. Uh, it took some time to get it organised. Uh, and listen, Barton didn't want to continue the game. It, 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 situation 3 1 down, down to 10 men. Um, but fair play to the officials, they've stood firm, they've looked at the rules, and um, we continued the game. And um, credit to them. Uh, it took a bit of time, as, it, as you said, to get it back going again, but we saw it out very, very well. And after Saturday's performance, just how important was it to bounce back with a win tonight? Yeah, I, I wouldn't say Saturday's performance. I didn't think Saturday's performance was, was that bad. Result. Um, the result was poor, um, and it was very important. We did bounce back, and we did it similarly when we lost to Welling Garner City at home. We went to North Lee, went down to 10, and got a real good result there. So, um, you know, listen, we're all, we're all a little bit down at the moment, down the dumps, because we lost two games, but I think we sit something like third or fourth in the league. We were up there, and... It shows a sign of a, of a good group and they're not very happy at the moment and we still sit third or fourth, so lots of work to do. Uh, we'll be back in Thursday and get ready for the big FA Cup tie on Saturday. And just how excited is the team for this Saturday's game against yeah, Stratford? Of course, looking forward to it, Dan, it's, it's huge. Uh, our fans are top, top draw, aren't they? They'll be out in hundreds again, so we have six or 700 people there roaring us on. It's a difficult task. I think we go into it as underdogs with, with Stratford being the division above and having a great result. I know they've gotten tonight against Alf Church. We had a great result last week against Colville. So. We've played them once before a couple of weeks ago. This will be a completely different game, but it's one now we can go into with uh, with renewed confidence. Congratulations, Snowfall. Thanks, Dan. Good match.